baby. Oh, that was good. It's cold as shit. We got some fun things sitting over here. Wow, I look so fat in this robe. That's crazy. Ugh. How are we? Let me message the Discord real quick. Just say live, smiley face. Smiley face. Go like this. We don't really need to mess with that. For now, I'm going to take... Well, I don't need to take it off, but we'll we'll go we'll go half here. How are we unstable? What? How? Homie. Are we, are we, are we doing good? What's up? What's going on with the connection? It says I'm dropping frames, but it also, s bro. How we doing? What's up? Okay, now it says excellent. What's going on? What, what does it look like? Does this says excellent? But but I have dude, I don't know. You got to let me know. Because I have no idea. There's no lag. All right, as soon as you see this spam letters in chat. As soon as you see this. Rising, I'm down to play tonight if you want. Okay, okay, okay. All right, bet, 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 bet. It was, dude, it started off as unstable, and I was about to lose my mind. Well, today, fellas, we're going to, uh, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to start by, I found some tins of Pokemon cards uh, that we're going to check out here. Um, I've got... These, and then I've got these. Now I had some older cards. I had some older fuckboy robe. <laughs> How you guys do it? Geo, Yugi, Rising, O Swipes, Derek, Penguin. What's up? What's up? What's up? Um, I had some old cards, like Gen One cards. I'm talking OG. I don't know if they were first edition, but if they were, that's really gonna hurt because I had a dark, a hollow dark Dragonite. I know I did. I remember it, which sells for about 750 if it's PSA 10. That being said, I don't think I I I know I don't have them anymore, so I don't want to get worried about it now. That being said, we have some uh we have some Pokémon cards. These are old. I don't know how much I mean <clears throat> I doubt I could sell them for a lot, but I think it's still going to be interesting to kind of go through them. Uh so we're going to start with that, and then we're going to play some video games. Big Dick Rising? Yeah. Mm. But, uh, so which tin do you guys want to go? We, I'll let you guys choose. We're going to start with this tin. This is the, the first tin I had. Then we have a Shaman tin. We have an Empoleon tin. Rapier tin. A Tepig tin. And a Dark Ride tin. Uh, what games are you going to play today? Probably Apex and maybe Fort. Probably not Fort. I've been really, really liking Apex lately. Really liking Apex. Um, did I see the shot from earlier? If you're talking about the one you put in the Discord, yeah, that's why I said Pog you right after it. That's literally why I said Pog you. I responded, but it's it's cool. Guess you didn't see my response. It's cool. You hate me. But uh, yeah, so which tin, which tin would y'all like to open up first? Um, this one seems very full. There's going to be more that like, so usually in these tins, when you would buy these tins, there would be about, I what is it? Eight packs, eight packs plus the card that's on top here. Uh, but I've opened them. I'm just seeing to see if there's anything like, uh, 
Apex and Fortnite are two games I'm downloading first. Bet Geo. Oh yeah, you're on the new Xbox. That's so sick. That's so dope, man. Really cool, really cool. Um I think Streamer Man should pick. Alright, uh, well. I feel like this tins. They've all got about the same amount of cards in it. The thing. Now, I don't know much about. Like, hold on. Let me go like this. You can see a little bit of Inception for a little bit. Uh, give me one sec. We're going to bring this over here. If I go. Like this. Let me go like this. Pokemon prices. All right. So here's the thing. I don't know what sets these are from. I don't know what sets these are from. So my guess is they're not going to be anything like this. These all look like OG Pokemon cards. Yo, what's up, Madeline? How you doing? Uh, Apex won't have the next gen update. Oh, that's tough. I forgot about that. These all look old. Damn. 166. That's crazy. I wonder if... I don't know. We don't really need to worry about how much they're worth. Because I don't think they're going to be worth that much. Bad. I'm sorry to hear that, Madeline. Do it, Yugi. Papu! Hello! Off topic, but have you seen the Minecraft cereal? I have not. I have not. I'm sorry. Um, this No, that's not in frame. Bad. We're going to start with this one. Let me tilt this down a little bit. No shave November suicide prevention month. I can't grow much facial hair, so. But hey, 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 hey. Better play Apex than me. I, hey, bet, Geo, no worries. No worries. So, opening the tin, obviously, Empoleon on the front. We got my boy Infernate and my boy Torterra on the side. Uh, and it looks like I had. Wow, this is a crusty ass rubber band. It looks like I had a rubber band around these cards, but it snapped. So, yeah, wow, ew. Crusty ass rubber band. What the heck? Six more gigs now because of Yeah, Apex is big, dude. It's a it's a legit game. So, we're going to check these first. Now, I don't expect any of these cards to be uh I have Papu, actually. I have. Um, I don't expect these cards to be, like, worth anything. But it's definitely going to be cool to see what's in here. Um, are these all water Pokemon? That's crazy. So, obviously, we have... Damn, I might have actually... So oh, wait. Some of these are OG. How old are these? Yo, how do you check to see how old a Pokemon card is? Because, like, this hoe is old. I don't know what gen this is from. And, yeah, I just I just preloaded the, the new Call of Duty. So that's ready to go for Friday. How do I tell how old some of these cards are? Because I might have some good ones in here. So we got my boy Empoleon right off the bat. Empoleon level X. Now, this was the fourth gen, like the go-to but these cards are not in a good condition whatsoever <laughs> uh we got a big boy will Reen. these are all water pokemon we got a reverse hollow gyarados kind of badass uh a lot of shitty cards i'm right now i'm just looking for the ogs like this dugong this is an og card i don't know i'm just gonna separate Ooh, this is actually a nice condition I'm really just looking for these cards that look very old because these are the ones that could potentially be selling for a lot. I have a hollow Glaceon. Anything that's hollow or reverse hollow I'll also set aside. No worries though, Geo. Um, wow, we got a OG Chinese Cedra. Cool. We have a tourney tonight at eight. Uh, probably. It depends on what game I'm playing. If it's Rocket League, I don't know. I'm going to be honest with you. If I'm still streaming, probably not. But I don't know. Damn. All right. So we got a, we got some OG cards here, which is pretty cool. Like this. I got another Starmie. Uh, that's OG. Another Kingler. That's OG. And these cards are actually in very 
very decent condition, which is, I mean, my guess is these dudes don't sell for a lot. Do you guys, does anybody in chat know, is Starmie slash Kingler, what gen are they? Are they gen 1 or gen 2? Because if they're gen 2, they're probably not worth a lot. A Tentacruel, OG, only 60 HP. Nowadays, the, the max dudes are going to be like 250 HP. An OG Poliwhirl. Nice. I think this is Gen 2, unfortunately. Uh, because some of these, another OG Kingler, some of these OG cards could actually be worth a bit. But it's nice that I'm finding them. That's a good feeling for me, knowing that I'm finding these OG cards. Because we could actually find some really, really nice uh, ones. And are you going to be my duo for the Marvel tournament tomorrow? Um, so I might have been playing with Korba and we might have talked about it. Um, I don't know if Korba is actually going to do it, but it's probably OG Psyduck. Nice. It's probably going to be Korba. I'm going to be honest with you, Geo. Me and Korba's chemistry when we're playing together, is unmatched. Ooh. Look at this Squirtle. That's OG for sure. But I don't think it's first edition. That's definitely not a PSA 10. Interesting. Yeah, this would be like a PSA 7. Is there any way to search how much these cards are uh, go for? Yeah, but I, I don't I don't think this is first edition. I think the first edition cards are the ones that sell for a lot. Pokemon? Yeah, you say that until I find a card in here that's worth $700. This is OG. This looks like an older card too. But I don't think it's OG enough. We'll just keep them here. Sounds good, Derek. An OG Almanite. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Kind of cool. We'll set it aside. A, a hollow crabby that would be such a shitty hollow card to get 40 hp i love you geo what are tazos i don't know what uh what tazos are this star you looks old magic carp an old magic carp a new magic carp a lot of magic carps and an og shelter hey that's omenite do you see at the bottom left of the photo pokemon no no i know they're old obviously but i don't think it's it's first edition like you said i think they would say first edition on them i'll look through them uh, again later but there's not a little black badge that says first edition i don't think so i mean like this says 54 of 62 but i don't know what that means yeah, I don't think it is. I mean, they're, it's still cool because they're like old. But but I don't know. Uh, I actually, I thought I got rid of all these old cards, but I guess I didn't. Um, all these support cards are trash. I mean, we have two reverse hollows here uh, in these two. But these are, these are newer, so they're not really going to be worth anything. So it looks like we have a decent amount of older cards now none of them are first edition it looks like pull a pikachu i mean i i probably have a pikachu somewhere in here fabian what's up boy what's up fabian how y'all doing um but right now we're just looking because i've already these are these are like old not old but like these are like gen 4 and earlier tin so these are all the old cards these are the water ones yeah yeah, yeah no worries so this is the shelter i i just have gross fingers right I just have gross fingers I, I, because I bite my nails. I'm trying to stop. But uh, so this is Shelter, Magikarp, Staryu. This is the Omanite. It's not really focusing. There we go. That is first edition. Pause. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's up? All right, all right, all right, all right. Chill, 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 chill. The thing is, these sleeves are kind of not great. 
<laughs> Shut up, Fabian. I don't even know how to properly sleeve shit. Does somebody want to check? At a PSA 10, how much is that worth? Probably not a lot. <laughs> like that. Oh well. I mean, I don't I don't think any of these are PSA 10s. Actually, I can guarantee that none of these cards are PSA 10s. Um It does say first edition though. The thin plastic discs that are usually chips. No, I didn't, Papu. I don't think so. Like, it's in decent condition, but it's not going to be a 10. It's not focusing. Of course it's not. Cool. It does have... Really yeah, but I just... I know that, like... Like, it's just not... To, it, it's going to be... The max anything's going to be in a 955. Nine, 155? Yeah, right. There's no way. I mean, I don't doubt... You're, you're not wrong. I'm just saying there's no way that... That card is going to be worth 155. All right. Let's keep going through these. Are they first edition O swipes? So we got another Squirtle. I'm basically just showing you guys. And then if there's any first editions. So what does this, this footprint mean? Is that just like that just shows their footprint? Or like what the hell does that mean? I don't know what that means. Oh, it fossil. Yo, what's up, Jay Bugsy? Nah, so these are my old Pokemon cards. I'm just going through them. And we did find a, a first edition uh, Omanyte that's in decent condition. Um, so I threw it in the sleeve just because it's first edition. But <clears throat> If I send you a meme on chat, will you play it? Probably not right now, no. Oh, so I you want me to set aside? I have multiple with the fossil things on them. Like, this Psyduck has a fossil, too. No, Papu, these are old Pokemon cards, dude, from when I was a child. Sometimes, some of these were even before I was a child. So I should, I should also set aside all the fossil Pokemon ones? All right, so that one has a fossil. I think one of these had a fossil too. This has a fossil. Some of these are actually in decent condition. Well, I mean, I might as well set it aside because who knows how it could be 10 years from now, right? Um, so this Squirtle also probably isn't anything. Um, <clears throat> so I have a seal. We've got a Poliwhirl. Most of these aren't going to be worth anything. This is another fossil, fossil tentacruel, in decent condition. We'll set it aside. Another fossil kingler. We'll set it aside. Uh, a starmy, another starmy, uh, another fossil kingler. Uh, starmy, and then a, I have a. This this is the one that I'm I want to know about because this is fucking sick. Let's see if I can focus it a little bit better. It's got a little star next to it. It's in Japanese. It's in decent condition. <clears throat> and then this dugong is just a basic dugong. I'm going to set this guy. You want to see which one again? Sorry. Neo Genesis. Is that good? I don't know if that's good. I mean, the card's in all right condition. You want to see the Squirtle? Sleeve that. Oh, so might as well. I got a shit. Uh, I've got like forty extra sleeves, so I might as well just hold on to it. Now again, my sleeves aren't great, so like, in a sleeve is obviously going to be better than not in a sleeve, but it's not going to do that much, you know. Cedric goes for about three bucks. Nice. Well, we'll hold on to it. And maybe 10 years from now, it'll go for 15. <laughs> uh, you want to see the Squirtle again. Okay. So I have... I just have one Squirtle. That's this guy. I don't think there's anything special about him. 
So how come some of them in the bottom left or the bottom right of your screen? How's like that has a circle, but my dugong has a a like rhombus. Is that that just means like this is a common card and the dugong is more of a, a uncommon or a rare card, even though it's base set? Is that what that means? Damn. Ooh, okay, I see you. I don't know why it's not focusing. That's what happens when you have a shitty camera. Those are my water Pokemon. So I'm gonna set those aside. Yeah, it's base set. Wait, so the little so then this dugong doesn't have a like if you look right there, let's see if it focuses. That's not a circle down there. I don't know if that means anything. The ones without stamps are all base sets. Okay, bet. decent amount papu that was just my water pokemon so now we have i'm guessing this one is fire pokemon but base set you want shadowless what is what does shadowless mean <clears throat> basically geo some of these cards are worth a lot and we're trying to see or not some of these cards uh but there are some pokemon cards that are worth a lot and i know that i have a lot of them See the black shadow on the right side of the card art? Kinda. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, of the border? The shadow around the border? Yeah. So you want no shadow there, is what you're saying. So I should look, just to make sure there's no shadow there. Maybe, Geo. Shadow 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 and is that just like a a rare printing thing oh base set has no shadow wait what these all have shadows oh this one doesn't yo i got okay whoa i got two starmies right so this one has a shadow That one has a shadow, and this is the exact same Starmie without a shadow. So do I want to keep this one out? So in order, it's first edition, shadowless, shadowless. Okay. So this first edition one has a shadow. And so does this Cedra, but we'll hold on to it just because. Because we have the sleeves. That Starmie and PSA 10 is a... The, uh, I'm looking at it right now. It's at, at maximum a 9.5, just based off of an eye test of the borders, which means it's probably like an 8.5, because I know they grade it pretty strongly. But YOLO, hold it up. It, I know that it's a little... But it doesn't say first edition. the bottom there oh the back i mean the back i know the back yeah it, it's none of these are going to be none of these are going to be are going to be psa 10 i just i have a feeling none of these are going to be psa 10 yeah oh okay well cool Star me PSA 10s a few hundred. Pog. I'm gonna check if I have any more shadowless just in here. I don't think. Oh, I do. I have one more. Cool. I have this star you that's shadowless. <laughs> Probably. Well, this doesn't have a fossil either. This just doesn't have a shadow. So I have a few with fossils here. Um, and then I have uh, one first edition card. And then I have that Neo whatever Cedra. And then I have two shadowless whatevers. Damn. Why do people be buying that shit? Like there's no way I would buy a single card for that much money. I'll sleeve this one just because it's shadowless. 
And then, yeah. Fuck it. Oh, that went in smoothly. Nice. Nice. Okay. Well, so that's cool. Water Pokemon are done. PSA 9 star you. Damn. Because one man says true, true. Aaron, you should, uh, you should let me check them out, man. Even if, even if it's on stream and you get to keep them all. All right. So I believe, are these all trainer cards? Yeah. Oh, that's an old trainer card. All right. Well, we got to guys, we got to go through all of them just in case. Now, I don't think any of these are going to be PSA 10 just because they're in a fucking rubber band. Ammonite first edition has gone for 120. Is that PSA 10 though? Oh, PSA 9. Ooh. All right, so I'm not going to show you guys anything that doesn't matter. Uh, we do have an old trainer card. Doesn't How do you tell if trainer cards are first edition? Um, is there like a way? I'm just going to fly through these. I'm guessing trainer cards aren't worth anything though. Oh, of the trainer cards too? Oh, a hollow trainer card. Nice. Damn. Um, what is this? This I don't I don't even recognize this art. Some weird ass art. But it's in bad condition anyway. It is six hundred and damn. Name you and you could look. Hey, Pog. Oh, that's Neo. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, let me just keep going through this. Pokedex. I've got a decent amount of old trainer cards. I can look through the trainer cards later because they're boring. Oh, that one has a lot of nicks on it. I hope that's not <laughs> a good card. Right now, I'm just separating old from regular from hollow. Uh, just because, you know, hollow cards are cool. So that is still a base set, but it's a more reset. Oh, that's awkward. Okay, so trainer card's done. I know you guys can't really see through them. Like I said, we'll look through them again in a little bit. Um, but we're about to go through the fire Pokemon. First edition stamp. Okay, I don't think there are... I don't think any of those are first edition. Um, give me a sec here. Yo, Dark Moon, thank you for the follow. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think any of these are. In before first edition Shadow Lizard. Yeah, so these are my... Uh, I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm just going to... So it, a lot of potions. I'm looking for first edition, but I don't think any of these are going to be first edition. There's the Neo. Yeah, these are old, but I think these are just base set. <laughs> I think these are just base set. So we'll keep through that. Now it's time for the fire Pokemon. Can I come split 50 50? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Unfortunately, I didn't take as good a care of these as I could. So we've got a regular base Typhlosion. We've got a hollow Magmortar. Damn. So we got an old ass Arcanine, except this is not, this isn't anything special and it's creased. Small PP, true. So this is this isn't gonna be worth shit, especially because it's got that fat crease on it. Um, and and it has a uh, shadow, as well. So these, I'm pretty sure those are just base sets. They don't have a fossil. They don't have first edition. How much does a first edition Arcanine sell for? I feel like that would sell for a lot. Ooh, ooh. I got a Neo. Hollow Typhlosion. What's up? That looks cool. Can it focus, please? <laughs> A Neo Hollow Typhlosion. I mean, again, it's not in great condition. I'll put it in the sleeve for sure. But I feel like anything hollow from even it yeah psa 9 is 1k what there's no way this is psa 9 
just because of how sh dude oh man i'm so tilted that i have them in such shit condition all right we got regular ass shit uh regular charmeleon nothing special i've got a couple of these um they have shadows and they're not anything special i wish dude oh my gosh imagine if I had like a first edition Charmeleon, that would be dope. I will, J Bugsy. I'll, I'll do. I'll send all of them. Uh, but yeah, so the Charmeleon is isn't anything special. Uh, it's it's base set Charmeleon. Keep the starters in Pika. Okay. Uh, I'll go back and I'll get them. Um, regular Combuskin. This is this doesn't look special. This looks old. But this is just a promo reverse hollow ente. But it's promo. I don't know what that means. It's not going to focus, is it? I don't think that's going to be worth much because it seems like everyone has them. It seems like it's one of those dudes that are like, like at a po uh, Empoleon level X. You know? Where it's just like you buy the pack and you automatically get them. I'll sleeve him just because it's a fucking Ente. Because he's cool. But uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't expect it to be anything crazy. Just because he's promo. You know? And everyone probably has him. That have those sets. So we'll put him aside. Just because... Just I mean, he's reverse hollow, which is cool. I think that's reverse hollow, right? Uh, we got a hollow Tepig... Magmar. What is this? I've seen this art style. I know this isn't this isn't gonna be worth anything, but I have some that are like this, and the majority that are like this. Right? This is this looks like a, a different art style, which I don't think it means anything. Cause it, it's definitely a newer card. Yeah. It just looks newer. Uh Torchic, Vulpix, Hollow Ditto, but that's I mean, I'll show you anyway, just in case you guys want to see it. It's a Delta Species Ditto that looks like Charmander. It's not going to be worth anything. Damn, Yugi. But I think it's cool. I think he looks cool. Uh, regular as Cyndaquil. Torchic. Regular Bordered Growlithe. I'll just put him here just because... Houndour, Charmander, uh, Bordered, or Shadow Magmar. Damn, Yugi. Shadow Magmar, Chimchar, Charmander, Torchic. Shadow Charmander. Not first edition. Not fossil. Again, he's a starter Pokemon, so we'll hold on. Wait. No, never mind. Okay. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, nope. Never mind. Damn. Loki, all these look shadowless until you look at the fucking shadow. <laughs> uh, just get to the Zard already? I don't think I have a Zard, dude. I don't think I have a Zard. But I'm happy I have a couple Charmander, a couple Charmeleon. I have, okay, it looks like I have three of those Charmanders. Four of those Charmanders. Shitty Ekans, Omega Lol, Chimchar, boom, boom, another Magmar, another Magmar, Vulpix, another Charmander. Uh, I got a Ponita. Just cause, I mean, it's shadowed again. Got a reverse Hollow Magby, another Ponita. Wow, a lot of Ponitas. Um, yeah, so that's that. Nothing too cool. I mean, maybe the Typhlosion will be nice. We'll see. The thing is with the Typhlosion. Typhlosion can't be like first edition, right? This could be one of the first gen whatever Pokemon that came out. But isn't first edition only first gen? Damn, Yugi. That's some king shit. That's what that is. Alright, so we'll put this here. Uh, we'll set this here. That's the fire Pokemon. What's the most expensive uh, first first edition Pokemon? The most expensive. We'll go to this one. I don't know what's going to be in this. Oh, it's Zard. Sounds good, Jay Bugsy. Appreciate it. 
Thank you for hanging out. Logic bought one for 200. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right. Are any, are any energy cards worth it? I doubt it. Nah, Fabian, I haven't. I have not. No, I have a card in the sleeve in this. Hollow ones? Okay, well. It's a cool... It's a cool hollow that, but I don't think that's worth anything. So I'm just going to set it down. Because that's a newer card. Uh, I'm probably just going to scan through these real quick instead of showing you guys everything. Because it's it's probably... I Yeah. I mean, there's definitely some old energies. In, wow, a lot of old energies in here. Uh, but they don't look hollow. Um, energy. If I find a hollow, I'll let you guys know. Ah, old energy. Right there. I sw Looks like most of these are just like new, new energies, you know, um, couple old energies here. Another new one. Come on. Give me one old hollow. That would be cool. One old hollow would be cool, but I don't think it's going to happen. Old energy. Hmm. First edition means that it's first edition of that pack. Oh, okay. Bet. So how many first edition cards are there? Look at this. This is an old old energy. A fucking rip. That's crazy. I should just throw that shit away. More old energies. Good thing I have a lot of fighting energy. But no hollows there. I'm going to keep them out just because. They're... they're old why not <clears throat> and then we'll bring the energies over here cool 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 now it's time for the ground so damn i don't know why i put rubber bands around that that actually pisses me off this is one of my favorite cards ever it's not gonna be worth shit but hollow low riperior level x i love this dude he's awesome um also hollow torterra awesome um also, regular Hollow Rhyperior, awesome. Regular Hollow Gallade, awesome. Uh, ooh. Is this Neo? I think this is Neo. A Neo Machamp. Probably not worth much. Um, but cool, nonetheless. Yeah, cool. Look at this Lucario. Look at that shit, bro. All right, now this card I'm going to be very careful with. Um, oh, shit. First edition. Hollow Machamp. What are we thinking, boys? First edition Hollow Machamp. What are we thinking on this one? I don't know how good this is. Uh, I know it's first edition, so that's Pog. Yo, Max, thank you for the follow. I mean, it's in decent condition. Again, I don't think it's going to be a 10. I don't think any of these are going to be a 10. How much we talking, Yugi? How much, how much we talking here? But yeah, first edition Hollow Machamp. Definitely not a 10. Probably just a nine, maybe even less. Just because I haven't, I didn't take care of these cards when I was young. Damn, that's a, a PSA ten goes for six hundred. It's a pretty penny. It's a pretty penny. It's a lot of porn subscriptions, eh? All right, we're gonna throw this in the sleeve again. These sleeves are trash. Um, I'll probably have to go buy some new sleeves. This is cool though. I knew I was gonna have a couple bangers in here. Uh, but yeah, all right. First edition, Hello Machamp. Uh, all right, another banger. First edition. All right, so the 
<clears throat> so this first edition, right? So this first edition, right? First edition Hollow Machamp doesn't have anything right here. Yeah, Buenin, you missed it. Badass. First edition Hollow Machamp. Uh, however, this first edition card, first edition Ride On, not Hollow, unfortunately, it has something right there, and I don't know what that means. Now, it's first edition, so I don't know what that means. That's jungle? What, is that? what does that mean? Is that good? Is that bad? I mean, it's first edition, so I'm going to obviously sleeve it. Just because. Uh, is jungle set good? Does that, does that lower its value? Probably. But cool. Two first editions. Yeah, I'll take that. Second set ever released. Oh, so it's a first edition of Jungle Set. Cool. I wish this Machamp were in better condition. Because old boy was saying that this shit sells for a lot. But I'll still take it. That's still really cool. Uh, and then, okay, I also have this. I, I, I think you said this was Neo. Uh, I don't think this is worth a lot, but it's cool. It's definitely old. Um, so I was I just wanted to show you guys that. Uh, we have a Hollow Gastrodon, not worth shit. Also, guys, just look how bad condition this Lucario is in. Yo, what's up, Max Mohawk? Look at the condition of this Lucario. This is obviously a newer version. It's level X, but look at this, bro. Crazy. Crazy. I used to treat my cards like shit. This is one of my favorite Pokemon, too. Uh, <clears throat> now we have a Brox Onyx. But it has this thing, and I don't know what that means. So I'm probably going to sleeve it. Just because it's Brock's. You want to die? I'm sorry to hear that, man. Listen to happy songs. Trust. You may think it's dumb, but it works. I shall sleeve it. That's what? What you mean? That's what? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Brock's Onyx. Not a dude. If that were a first edition, I feel like that would be that would be really nice. Oh, gym series. Uh, okay. So we got uh, reverse hollow ground on. Oh shit! Another hollow first edition Machamp. <laughs> dude, <laughs> what? And I think this one's in better condition. Actually, I don't know. I do. I, I did play baseball. I played a baseball my first year of college, and then I got hurt. And obviously, high school and before that as well. It's not like I just started playing in college. Nice. That's pretty badass. How much? Wait, Yugi. How much did you say a PSA ten goes for? For for a hollow machamp. Hollow. Wait. Hollow means it's in the picture. Reverse hollow means it's out here, right? I'm from Minnesota, Max Mohawk. How about you? PSA 9 goes for 7. I don't think they're PSA 9. I'm going to assume everything's like a PSA 8 the more I look at these cards. Uh, okay. Regular Onyx, regular Onyx. I'm getting into a lot of the regular shit. Regular, or not regular. I mean, this is just Onyx. An old Onyx. Oh, this is a cool Hollow Lucario. Obviously not an old card, though. <clears throat> PSA cards. Let's click on this real quick. What is this going to take us to? Machamp Hollow First Edition. Ooh. Damn! PSA 10 sells for 3500 What? Obviously, this is not a PSA 10, but damn. 
Yo! <laughs> uh, buh, lame, lame. I got a, a shitty condition Machoke. I got a couple of these. This one's probably in the worst condition. Um, all, all shadowed, not first edition. Unfortunately, but though, dude, those Machamps were big, big pulls. I got a fossil golem. So that's that's the second pack, right? The condition isn't great. Condition isn't great. South Carolina, a. Hey. Hey, I've been to I've I've played a couple tournaments in South Carolina, and I've actually been to a couple perfect game ones. That's cool, man. <clears throat> Oh, jungle second, third is fossil. So I'm it's because it's fossil. I'm going to put this in a sleeve. We're running out of sleeves, guys. It's not in good condition. I'm not gonna lie. So this is probably like a PSA like fucking six. Nah, yeah, yeah, maybe even less. Maybe some of the good ones. What colleges have you played at? Um. I mean, okay, that a lot because I I started traveling. Think of like any any of the decent colleges, like the bigger colleges, in like that southern, southeast, northeast, Midwest area, like like Cincinnati. Um, I've played at the Gophers Stadium. I've played at uh uh. What's that? What's that team? Coastal Carolina. I played there. I played at Coastal Carolina Stadium. Um, shit like that. I've played at the uh, not UT, not the Longhorns, but um, TCU. Yugi. I played at TCU Stadium. Um, keep moving. I got a jungle. Oh my god. Okay, a jungle primate, and then a. First edition jungle primate as well. No, no, not Texas A&M. Uh, TCU. Damn, bro. It's a nice card. We're going to sleeve that. Sleeve all first editions. Sir, yes, sir. I think I'm going to take that, uh, that golem out of the sleeve. Even though it's fossil... Because this one is jungle and it's in way better condition. And I'm sure there's going to be at least one other thing. Yeah, Buena, dude. I thought I got rid of them. So we'll put this in there. I think I think this is my most jacked one, though. I think uh, fighting or ground, whatever, is my most jacked one for sure. Mm. Charleston Southern Wofford from USC. Dude, I wish I played at USC. That's nice. USC is such a nice... Ooh! Shadowless Hollow Hitmonchan. Ayo! That's pretty cool. Nice. That's my last sleeve. Ah, uh, cool. And it's hollow, which is nice. Anything hollow is just like pog, you know? That's a good condition. Eh. I mean, again, none of these are going to be tens just because I fucking wrapped rubber bands around them. This could be a nine. This could be a nine point five. What's up, Derp? This is this is nice. Your mom works at USC. Nice, dude. That's actually really cool. First edition. Fossil. Hollow, Hitmonlee. Jeez, bro. What is this? I love you, Dirt. Call me out. Wait, what's karma? I'll be over to figure out some things. I love you, Dirt. I'm going to set that there. Guys, I don't have any sleeves left. Rogue Geodude, Chop, Riolu. Uh, jungle, Marowak. Set that there. How much does that Hitmonlee go for? 
First edition fossil hollow Hitmonlee. Dude, this is kind of badass. This is fun. Another fossil graveler. Oh, PSA 10, 125. Cool. Uh, just regular Machops, not first edition, but they're old, so I'll obviously set them out. Uh, what else we got? The Pokemon cards are about to pay for new internet? Literally, for a fucking month. Bro, fiber optic costs so much. Another Machop. What does this badge do? This thing. No, I was going to, and then they told us the price went in. It's like 460 a month. I don't know what that badge is. So we'll just set him aside. He's in really good condition. Ah, the back is not. The front is, though. Yeah, shit's expensive. Oh, and my cards are sliding around here. Gym series, bet. <clears throat> All right. And we move on. We're almost to the end of this. Another Fossil Series Cubone. Fossil Series Mankey. Base Set Diglett. Jungle Series Mankey. Fossil Series Kabuto. And two Base Series Diglets. Nice. Not a bad pull. All these cards are old cards, along with a couple. Hold on, let me. Let me put the fossils and the jungles over here. Just oops, we'll do that. Not bad. Not bad. In theory, if both of my hollow machamps, first edition, if both of them are PSA 10, which they're not, it's a, it's a nice little seven grand pull right there. You know, this is a nice little seven grand pull. Pretty cool. <clears throat> oh, wait. I want to put these guys there and then these guys here and then we move on. <clears throat> we'll set that there. On to the next tin. I'm going to go with this one. I'm feeling lucky about this one. I don't think anything is going to top the amount of good cards that were in that. We'll go to this one. Yeah, I still have this tin this tin and this tin full of cards this is a i don't think there's any good shit in here this is the first tin i ever got it's got rayquaza plusle and minimum minim um, yeah a psa 10 one yugi but it's not psa 10. uh give me a sec here <clears throat> Is this oh a white card or it's green i don't fucking know how these work uh so these are probably my normal pokemon which i don't think have a lot two more old energies cool uh and a newer energy what's up 47 yeah that much champ could be worth a lot here's a hollow star raptor a quag sired cool cool uh, I think what's his nuts lives is Pokemon. Yo, what's up, Smokey Jesus? How you doing? So those are chill. I mean, these are these are new Pokemon. This is cool. It's like a hollow Zangoose. These Pokemon are new. Yeah, Froki. No one cares about these Pokemon. Omega Lol. Uh, give me a sec here. All we care about is the old Pokemon, which there's gonna be some in here. I see a couple with white borders wait isn't dragonite a normal type pokemon the old ones yeah so uh we found two first edition hollow machamps which is pretty cool uh except i don't think either of them are going to be psa 10. so that's cool <laughs> that's pretty cool those are definitely our best two pulls of the day. Trying to sell one? I don't think they're going to be good, Jesus. Like, like, 
These are my old Pokemon cards from like when I was a kid. Yo, Buck, thank you, uh, or Bella, thank you for the follow. These are my old Pokemon cards from when I was a kid that I'm just rediscovering. Smokey, thank you as well for the follow. So a lot of these aren't going to be in great condition. Sounds good, Gwenin. Uh, Hollow Slaking. We got a Hollow Chansey. Not first edition or anything. Pretty cool, though, because it's Hollow. So we'll set it out. <clears throat> hollow Porygon, Ursarang, Chansey, Chansey. Fossil Dragonite. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, find any magic carps or Gyarados? I would love to buy it. I'll let you know. One in, one in. Okay, question. If I by any chance had a first edition hollow fossil Dragonite, how much would that be worth? If that was in my hand right now. <laughs> How much would that be worth? I'm going to put that in this leaf. What is the link you just sent? Nice. <laughs> yeah. Again, it's not in great condition. It's actually in decent condition. Again, it's not going to be a 10. Do they not do nine and a halfs? Does it just go nine? Is it eight, nine? Not bad. Ayo. Ayo. Yeah, that was the right card. Damn, you can even see the stars glistening. I'm not gonna burn it. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. What's up? Make it self or wait. What's Beckett? I mean, the thing is, Smokey, is that these cards aren't going to be PSA 10, you know? Um, my assumption is I'm just going to hold on to them until the price goes up. I don't know if the price is going to keep going up, but like none of these are going to be 10, you know? Oh, okay. Uh, we got an old Salamence, Rugly, Wiggly Tough. No. First edition Jungle Hollow Pidgeot. Pretty cool. I feel like Dragonite Dragonites will always go up in price too, because they're Dragonite. It's like one of the most loved Pokemon ever. I don't know if that's going to be worth a lot. I should probably sleeve it. But that means I need to unsleeve something else because I'm out of sleeves. Uh, so what do I unsleeve here? Y'all said this Seedra only goes for three bucks. So should I just drop this Seedra? Not drop it, but like. That card can go for seven, eight hundred. Nice. Yeah, I'm just going to take out the Seedra for now. It's cool. It's Neo series. It's it's Japanese. or I'm assuming that's Japanese. I'm not going to burn it, derp. This Pidgeot is actually in very good condition. Again, not going to be a PSA 10. But it could. It, it's one of those cards that could maybe. No. See, the problem is I put. I used to put rubber bands around my cards. So, like. At the back, there's these little, like, white... Oh, it's frustrating that I did that. I don't even know if any of them will be PSA 9. Damn, how much do those sell for? Alright, bunch of lame shit. Lame shit. 
Ooh, this is cool. Hollow Rocket Series Dark Dragonite. Now it has a crease on it, but it's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know what it's worth, but it's Rocket Series and it's Dark Dragonite and it's Hollow. Which gotta mean it's it's at least worth you know like ten bucks, right? It's not first edition, unfortunately. But it is Rocket Series. I know that. And it is hollow, and it is dark. So if anyone has an idea, let me know. I bet Geo. That's cool. Set aside. <clears throat> people are selling a box around a hundred ish dollars damn that's a quick grand if not more <clears throat> uh we got a oh that's that's not gonna be psa 8 but that's still really cool i'll probably just keep it uh we got a jungle dodrio probably not worth a lot not even centered visibly it's just not centered <laughs> but oh well reverse hollows to ravia a jungle persian why does this look so weird jungle persian not in great condition sounds good geo we got a neo tauros which isn't going to be worth a lot but again i'm just going to keep it out just because um Nothing, nothing, nothing. Now we have a Jungle Tauros. And then we have a Base Set Raticate, which isn't going to be worth anything. That we're setting over here. <clears throat> we got a lot of normals. Oh, you didn't make it Sag Lugo. Thank God. What's up, X Micah? <laughs> How you doing, bro? Pidgeotto, base set, nothing special. Also, if you're wondering, a lot of these cards that I'm flipping through are like newer, like Gen 4 series cards. Um, so that's why I'm not covering them. Yo, Buenin, did you see my Dark Dragonite? My Rocket Series Dark Dragonite? Or no? <clears throat> okay, I'll show it to you. I guess I'll show it to you. I didn't sleeve it because it's already not in good condition. But this is a hollow rocket series dark dragonite. Pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, it's not in good condition though, unfortunately. I've run a hundred to two hundred grand in my binder of first edition cards. Bro, what if that gets yoinked? You know, you got to sell that shit, no? Or, again, no, don't sell it if you're a collector, but. That's crazy. That's so much money. Time to yoink. They sell for a lot, Micah. People like to collect them. Jungle Jigglypuff. It's in my safe. Oh, that's good then. Uh, these don't look like anything too crazy. Are you not a stand anymore? Guess not. When in, wait, how much did you guys say that Dark Dragonite would go for if it was actually good? Jungle Eevee. Hold up. Here we go. I don't think those. Okay. Jungle Eevee. Ooh. First edition Jungle Meowth. That's cool. Well, first edition action. I don't think these are worth anything. 750 PSA 10, nice. Uh, but it's a it's a regular EV. It's a 2007 World Championships. I don't think they're worth anything. They're cool. 300 for a PSA 8? Hmm. You got an Insta? Yeah, it's... Uh, type in exclamation point socials. Or if somebody can. It'll give you a link to everything. Yeah, thank you, Buenin. 
and Yugi. So these are all regular cards, nothing too crazy. So cows. Nothing too crazy. Another Eevee, 2007, doesn't matter. Another Eevee from 2007, doesn't matter. Uh, base set, Do Duo, Jungle Eevee. Um, ooh, first edition, Shadowless Hollow Cleffery. Look at that. I I don't have a Charizard. I don't even have a regular Charizard, let alone a good Charizard. First edition Shadowless Cleffery. That's got to be worth 15 bucks. Just the fact that it's first edition and Shadowless. I mean the the Hollow is pretty cool, but I don't think a Hollow on a 40 a 40 HP card matters. What? You're lying. Send me the link. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. Bro, this could legitimately be a, a PSA 7. I could this could literally legitimately be a $300 card. Oh my god. What? What? All right, I'm taking the Entei out of here. Just because this Entei, even though it's promo, or it's 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 hollow, it's it's a promo, so it doesn't count. I don't think it's worth it. And we are throwing this Cleffery in here. Sounds good, Smokey. Bro, sixty-five hundred. Let me examine this card real quick. Okay, it looks a little bit smaller on the right side. We'll give it a PSA 9 already just for that. Yeah. I don't know if it's like minus one point for every little thing that's wrong. Because if that were the case, it would probably be a PSA 7. But maybe I could pass for a PSA 8. Probably not, though. I know, I know. So... I'm hoping this is a PSA 7. 6,500? What? Show the card to the cam. So it's a little off-centered. I already noticed just by eye test. But it's shadowless and it's first edition. That's dope, Smokey. I'll check it out in a bit. And then the back is just... Down in the in the side, there's some nicks. Maybe I could get a PSA seven from it. I don't know. I don't know. That's. I mean, this is I, this is the most expensive card in theory, if it were a PSA ten that I have, right? Because the Machamps are only thirty five hundred. Boom! 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 Base set Dratini. Only? Yeah. Base set Rattata. Shadowless base set Porygon. It is shadowless, but it's also base set. So it's probably not worth that much. However, it is in decent condition. It's actually in very good condition. Dude, I'm out of sleeves, man. I don't have anything I want to not sleeve. Everything I have sleeved is first edition. Except for this shadowless star you and this Brox Onyx. I don't know how much this Porygon would go for, so. How much how much would a shadowless base set Porygon go for? Probably not that much, right? Because it's base set. Cool though. What? Bro, there's no... What? What? 
That's so much money. All right, two tins left. My guess is it's like a psychic dark tin and then a electric grass tin. Wow. Time to tell my mommy. Not right now. Which one's heavier? This one is, so we'll do this one. So my, I know normal and first edition's after this. Nah. I know normal and fighting slash ground are my, are my, the ones that I'll have the most in. I kind of. Yeah, exactly, Micah. He's literally in chat. Calm that down. All right, so yeah, this is dark and psychic, like I predicted. Oh, this is my only dark, and this is all psychic. Okay. I guess dark Pokemons are... are dark Pokemons. Dark Pokemon are pretty rare. Hmm. True, Smokey. Talk your shit, homie. Hell yeah. So, no, literally, like this card, first edition Hollow Dragonite, this is older than me. This is older than me. How much do you say this was worth PSA 10? All right, so we have a Hollow Shiftry. I don't know if any of these are... Ooh. Old. Hold on. Give me one sec. These are all non hollows Let me just... I think only one of these are old. Yeah. Yeah. So this, oh, wow. This is, this is uh, like, this is unsellable condition, but I do have a Japanese, uh, hound doom, uh, Japanese hound doom. It even says pocket monsters on the back. Um, and it has a symbol on the, on this side. Aircraft mechanic. Oh, so you're smart as fuck then, huh? Damn. I don't think this would be worth anything, but if you guys... Wait. Oh, and it's hollow. It's a hollow Japanese hound doer. It says pocket monsters and has a... Bad, I think that says final four. It, it's, it's like a picture of a temple. If anybody knows... Obviously, it's in unsellable condition, but how much this card, in theory, could be worth? That would be dope. Let me know. Does the fact that they're in Japanese, does that make them worth anything more? I feel like there's some, like, fiend overseas that would just, like, love to have an OG Japanese holo card. It says Pocket Monsters on it. Because it is holo. But it's in, look at this. It's in awful condition. Pocket monster stuff is rare. Was this Seedra pocket monsters? I don't even know where I put it. Is it in here? The Seedra also says pocket monsters. But like, so like it, it might be worth a little bit is what you're telling me. That's what overseas called Pokemon. Yeah, I know, I know. But like, so in theory, if this were a PSA 10, because it's hollow and it says pocket monsters, it could be worth a lot. Could somebody find out? That would be lit. But obviously this one isn't. I just want to know the potential of the cards. <clears throat> uh, in terms of psychic, if the card wasn't cut it. <laughs> uh, true. Um, what are we looking for in psychic Pokemon here? Uh, Alakazam, right? Or is it Kadabra? Alakazam, Kadabra, Abra. What else? Is there anything else? Are, is that really it? Alakazam. <clears throat> in psychic Pokemon, what are we looking for? Hypno? Hypno and Alakazam. Okay. Well, we got a reverse hollow muck. Grumpig. Boom. 
My guess is that I don't have an Alakazam just because he would have a lot of HP. What's up, Fabian? Curly, uh, yeah. Bunch of regular, regular cards. Oh, okay. Well, this is a base set hollow Alakazam, but it's base set. Um, so it's not. What's up, armor? Is it gonna focus? It has a little crease up here. Give it to Grant? What the fuck would I give this to Grant? It's a hollow Alakazam. <laughs> Imagine. Okay. Not bad. Oh, I got a hollow, hollow Mewtwo. Oh, it's his favorite Pokemon? I have a Team Galactic Skunk Tank. Uh, okay. Sabrina's Hypno, uh, but it's not. It's nothing too crazy. There's no first edition or anything, but it's Sabrina's Hypno, which is cool. Nothing too crazy though. Yeah, base card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's Sabrina's Hypno, so that's cool. The Mewtwo is first edition. That could be worth a good amount. Yeah, but this Mewtwo is this is this is a. Uh, this is this one. This is like a Gen 4 Mewtwo. Sabrina. Pog. I have a Neo Kadabra. That's not going to be worth much. I have Cynthia Spiritum. Fuck yeah. Charizard's my fave, so give me all of those, I guess. I'm not giving anyone any cards armor. <laughs> Especially if I found a Charizard in here. Hold it up close. Nah, this is like a Gen 4 Mewtwo. Nothing crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a current Mewtwo. <clears throat> I take it first editions of like modern Pokemon don't mean shit. I don't even know how to tell first editions of modern Pokemon, but yeah, that's an L. Yeah. Uh, regular Kadabra base set, regular Haunter base set, another Haunter, Fossil Slowbro. Cool. Rolts, 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 Rolts. Shit Pokemon, shit Pokemon, shit Pokemon, shit Pokemon. A lot of shitters. Now we have a hollow Yuxi, which I don't know why this Yuxi, that's hollow, and has only 60 HP, but that's annoying. How about we trade Spanish cards with English ones? I'm down, Papu. <laughs> Another Haunter. Uh, lame, lame. Let me just go. Okay, another Drowsy, but it's... Regular. No first editions so far. When I say regular, I mean base set, by the way. My bad. I'm pretty sure I have damn near all the unknowns in the alphabet. Close to it. Got a fossil slowpoke. No, I'm opening my old packs. And we found some pretty cool things so far. These are, these are, uh, yeah, these are my old Pokemon from when I was a kid. And some of them are pretty good. Like this, the Hollow first edition, Dragonite. I got two Hollow first edition Machamps. Uh, I got a Borderless first edition Hollow Clefairy. Which could go upwards of six and a half thousand dollars, which would be pretty cool. Obviously, it's not PSA ten. Yo, what's up, Shifty? What's up, Coffee? How y'all doing today? What's up? What's up? To make me feel like I've actually done something in my life. <laughs> All right, what else we got here? 
Anything good? That is the question. It looks like, oh, there's a hair. Ew, ew. Yo, what's good, Corba? How you doing, bro? It looks like, okay, one more Abra. This is a Team Rocket Abra, but it's not first edition, it's just base set. I'm doing good, Shifty. What did you win them in? What do you mean win them? I just, when I was young, someone gave them to me. Like the, the old Pokemon. And I've just kept them. And the two base set Gastlys. Uh, and apparently now they're worth a lot. So, that's cool. No first editions there. They're from baseball, basketball. Oh, these are Pokemon cards. So I have a lot of bait. Oh, sorry. Trophies. Karate and baseball. <laughs> that tin was doggy. True. True, true, true. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, my final tin. I think this is electric and grass. So what am I looking for in this tin, fellas? What am I looking for in electric and grass tin? Oh, and steel. But I don't think steel was, was a thing back then. I don't know. <clears throat> Venusaur and Zapdos. Bet. Bet, bet, bet. If I remember correctly, I do have some sort of Zapdos. But I don't remember which ones. So, we have a couple stadium cards here for some reason. Um, my guess is they're all... Yeah. Unimportant current stadium cards. We'll do... Steel first. Metagross. Right, right, right. I don't think I have one. I have a Diaga Level X. I have one of these 2008 Championship Holographic Scizor. Uh, I have a Team Galactic Bronzong. Some Shield on. I don't even think I have anything old in this set. Yeah, I don't. So, kind of doo-doo. Kind of buns, but that's fine. Mm, I wasn't expecting anything. Bulbasaur, all right, so any starter, a vile plume, executor, bet. Damn, Shifty, okay, I see you. We're going to do electric first. We're going to do electric first. So, and Pikachu, bet. So, my favorite Pokemon, Luxray, holographic Luxray, uh, regular Zapdos, like newer version. <clears throat> um, okay. I believe Zapdos is 70 HP in this. Yeah. Okay. So I have a a fossil non-hollow Zapdos. Probably not worth a lot. No, we already did water. We already did water. So we have a uh, fossil non-hollow Zapdos. Probably not worth a lot. We have a jungle holographic jolteon which is pretty cool a jungle holographic jolteon not first edition unfortunately so mm, still pretty cool pretty cool uh let's see what else we got we have a holographic lieutenant surges magneton which is actually in pretty good condition that's just like our holographic Broxonyx. But it's not first edition. PSA 9 for Jolteon is 400? Really? Even though it's it's not first edition? Regular that shit. I, I got this stupid ass ditto again. This one looks like a Pikachu. Ooh! First edition holographic magneton that's pretty cool if it'll focus focus damn it it's really not gonna focus all right well that's first edition holographic magneton but it's not focusing uh so it's first edition oh wait and it's shadowless and it's shadowless. And it's and it's shadowless. 
Stop looking up PSA. And it's Shadowless. First edition, Shadowless Holographic Magneton. Pretty cool. Uh, definitely gonna put this in. Oh, that's just like the Cleffery. First edition, Shadowless Holographic. Look more on eBay. I don't know what to unsleeve because I want to sleeve that. That's first edition hollow and it's shadowless. I don't know what to unsleeve. Probably Brox Onyx. I don't think Brox Onyx. Go buy more sleeves. I'm not going to go buy more sleeves right now. I'll just keep out the important ones. How much is this worth? This Magneton. It's in pretty good condition. I know PSA 10 is hard, but if I had to choose a card that would be PSA 10, out of all the ones that I've sleeved, this looks like it. Damn, even though it's shadowless, Smokey? Even though it's shadowless? I thought shadowless was supposed to be worth a lot. That's disappointing. 300 bucks for PSA 9 for this? First edition Dark Mica. Yeah, it's shadowless. It's shadowless. First edition holographic. Seeing if one <laughs> using. No, so shadowless is better. Every card has a shadow except for some. <laughs> so that's why shadowless is better. No. Nah, nah. PSA 8 is 1.1k. How about a PSA 10? In theory. How much would that be worth? Hmm, what else we got here? I got a Pika Chunk. But it's jungle. And it's base set. So it's probably not worth much. But I'm keeping it out. Just cuz. Um, what else we got here? I got an electric Charmander. Cool. Not from that set. I just put do it. I've got a regular Magnemite base set. I've got a base set Rocket Voltorb. Um, got one of these 2007 things. And that's it for Electric. If that Magneton, I, I think I could get an 8.8 .8 on that Magneton. I think that's a, I think this might actually be. I think this might actually be a one thousand dollar card. I think it might be. This magneton looks very pretty. It looks pretty even as well. Maybe not extremely like perfectly even. Which is why I'm saying eight, but it looks nice. 150 grand, that's so much money. That's so much money. All right. More of these. All right. Our final group is grass. So you said we want any starter. So that would be Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur. We want. Uh, Vile Plume. Who else? Malvin.io is what Sketch uses. It looks like recent sales on eBay. Interesting, 47. Interesting. How they grade is they grade everything like centering, 1 to 10 edges. Oh, and they round down. So if everything isn't a perfect 10 out of 10, you can't get a 10? Okay. Executor. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So... Well, there's a Ivysaur, but it's base set. Uh, Flygon, don't care. Grottle, Omega, Bayleaf. What we got? All right. A Jungle Executor. Regular. Mm. Let's keep moving. Shadowless Beedrill. In pretty good condition, actually. Shadowless Beedrill. I wish my camera would focus better. There we go. It's 
Beedrill's in. Uh, it's definitely not even. Beckett Black Label's where it's at. Oh, yeah, the back's not very even either. But, 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 it is shadowless, so that's cool. That's probably worth 100 bucks at PSA 10. 450 Pog. I've got another Executor, except this isn't Jungle. This has a different symbol right here. I don't know what that means. But cool. Uh, oh, there's my Shaman, LOL. It's crazy that I bought a box where the, the promo card was a fucking 80 HP Shaman. Sells for 740. Is people buying that though? I got a Metapod base set. Hmm. A Jungle Gloom base set. Not bad. I've got a just regular base set Ivysaur. Not bad. <clears throat> Obviously no Venusaur. I've got a Jungle Nidoran. Nidoran, whatever you want to call it. Come on. Give me a first edition Shadowless Holographic Bulbasaur, please. I've got a Fossil Arbok. And another Jungle Nidoran. And then a <clears throat> Shadowless Nidorino. There's another Shadowless, which is nice. I think the Shadowless are, are big pulls. They don't even need to be hollow, and they're worth a lot of money. Base... Base set Tangela. What's up, Fraj? Trico, don't care, don't care. Base Kofing. And my guess is that's it. All right. Well, 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 well. Oh, wait, no, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Sold for 150 PSA 10? Cool. Not it. I lied. I'm sorry. Uh, Fossil Grimer. We're just getting low. I didn't see this pile on the side. Jungle Oddish. Nothing there. Making sure. Mm. We're almost to the end, chat. Ooh. This is a nice condition card, too. A Team Rockets Dark Gloom. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Dang, I see you, Yugi. Can't ruin that with the gamble. True. I think, like, dark Pokemon are, are pretty good, too. Fossil Grimer. Probably not going to show you repeats of lame cards. Hey, regular Bulbasaur. Pog. Base set, though. Dark Gloom, only, like, five bucks. Oh, well. Uh, Jungle Venonat, don't care. Base set, Nidoran. Fossil Zubat, this looks old as fuck. Basic Weedle. First edition, Fossil Zubat. At least his first edition. Makes me feel a little better. Base set, Boba's 200, what? That's stupid. That's stupid. And then two hot bips. All right. Well, 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 well. Ah. PSA ten Zubat fifty bucks. Woo. All right. Let's go over our good pulls real quick before we before we call it here. So, it seems that throughout all of these cards, we've got, in terms of money, if everything today was a PSA 10, 
And in theory, we sold them all at max value. We would probably make around $20,000. But a lot of it is not PSA 10. I don't think any of it is PSA 10. Yeah. Um, so a lot of these grass Pokemon are probably like five bucks. This Zubat's like 50. Um, so I'm not even going to sleeve it because I'm not going to try and sell it for 50 bucks. Because it costs like, what, six bucks to send it in or something? Uh, Dark Gloom was five bucks. You did say the Bulbasaur was worth a little bit at PSA 10. Uh, what about... Hmm. What about Shadowless Nidorino and Shadowless uh, Beedrill? Because I do have... And Ivysaur. And Ivysaur. Because I do have two Shadowless. Um, an Ivysaur and a Bulbasaur. <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. I don't know how much a base Ivysaur. No, Frush. He shouldn't have. Why? Oh, it's because he left the Discord. Somebody has to give him VIP back. Yeah, he left the Discord, Frosh. I said that in mods chat. Um, so Ivysaur, Bulbasaur, two Shadowlisses in good condition. It's $10? What the fuck? Most of these cards aren't even like... Thank you, Frosh. So yeah, those are those. <clears throat> Where's a good place to get sleeves for all you for all you frogs out there? Uh, where's the tin? Where did I set this tin? Is it this one? I think it's this one. Buy a booster box. It comes in them. How many though? Interesting. I'll look into it. So that goes there. We'll throw in these guys. I'm, I'm putting in all my non-important cards. I'm just throwing them in the tin. Because, again, they're non-important. Some of them are cool, like the Alga Level X. But uh, they're not worth anything right now. Mm. Two packs of, like, 30 to 40? Bet. Uh, how much do... Wait. You want hard sleeves? Oh. I like that word. What? It's an elite trainer box. Oh, you guys are just throwing around really big. I don't even need these. I don't even have these. Right, so let's tin on that. I think today has been good. So, hey, can somebody real quick look up Ivysaur, base set Ivysaur, and then base set Shadowless Beedrill, and base set Shadowless Nidorino, please. Por favor. That would be nice. Um, now we'll throw these guys in here. Yes. Ivysaur, Shadowless Beedrill, and Shadowless Nidorino. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm still interested to see how much this dude would sell for. But I don't think we're going to be able to find an accurate price on that shit. Especially in the condition it's in. It's not going to sell. But just the idea would be cool. It'd sell for one cent. Yeah, Fraz, you'd be surprised how much some of these cars would actually sell for. If I'm being honest, brother. So we're going to throw all these in here. Boom. We'll keep out the Entei. I don't think there's anything in here still. Let's make sure. Nope. Looking at about 50 PSA 7 for Ivy. 50 bucks. Not bad. PSA 10 for Beedrill is 550. Nice. Nice. Imagine if all these cards are PSA 10. Imagine if your superpower was whenever you touched a card, it would turn into PSA 10. That was your superpower. That's it. You know how much money you would make off that, though? That would be crazy. That would be crazy. 
Uh, let me look if there's anything special in here. Oh, yeah. Hollow Lieutenant Surge Magneton. Hollow <clears throat> Jungle Jolteon. Regular Fossil Zapdos. Uh, don't think there's any Shadowless in here. Sabrina's Hypno. <clears throat> Hollow Alakazam. Needle's like 10 bucks, damn. Back Shifty. <clears throat> I mean, not really, Micah. Like, compared to other powers, yeah. But would you rather be... I, would I rather be Antonio or Antonio with that superpower? Obviously, you're taking the superpower. Um, All these energy and trainer cards, I don't think any of these are hollow. Let's make sure. Yeah, no. <laughs> Corona S, nice. Uh, I don't think any of these... I think I already... Wow, there's a lot of... This is the first... Did we check first edition Jungle Meowth? This Dragonite's still badass. It's crazy that I had three Dragonites, dude. Three of them. This Did we check Hollow Chansey as well? Hollow Chansey kind of lit. Base set. I don't know why these are there. Oh, these are just the water dudes. Okay. So keep those out. Hope you feel better, Micah. Uh, we'll put these here. Boom. That's full. This was the fire tin, I think. Where did my fire Pokemon go? I don't even remember. These are water guys. You over there. Hmm. <clears throat> Give me one sec here, fellas. I don't even know what this is. This is a bunch of random shit, so we'll just throw this in there. These aren't good, obviously. Check Insta. All right, give me a sec. Give me a second, sir. Oh, I, did I already put them back? Yeah, I think I must have. Yes, I did. Okay. So we'll throw these in there as well. Give me one sec. So all these... First edition Hollow Hitmanly. This is lit. That's crazy that I had two first edition Hollow Machamps. How much is base set Charmander? <clears throat> I shifty there'd be like three people using it dude we don't have enough people in our what's it called to do it or base that squirtle cool hmm I don't know how much base that Charmander is imagine all right uh We'll throw these on top, right? These are all... Yep, nobody cares about those. Not bad. Not bad at all, bro. Chromecast and my capture card? No worries. No worries, brother. <clears throat> and then, I think these are all energies. So... Yeah, but Shifty, isn't that like a special Charmander? Like, nobody's going to buy a Charmander, like a regular-ass Charmander for 5K. No way. Right? Oh, PSA 10? That makes sense. Maybe. It's still a lot of money. First edition PSA 10, yeah. All right. Imagine if I had a first edition... Hello, Charizard. In just dog shit condition. I'd be weak. Give me a second here. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, you can't even check. Me I forgot you can't check messages on PC version. Yeah, I'll be playing. I'll be playing Game Shifty. Give me a sec. Uh, we're gonna go over this, and then I'll check your your DMs, uh, Smokey. So the cards that I have sleeved right now. I don't know why I have this one sleeved. Uh, Shadowless Star You. Shadowless Star Me. First edition Hollow Magneton. First edition Hollow Machamp. First edition Hollow um, Jungle Pidgeot. First edition Jungle Primate. First edition Jungle Rhydon. It's going to be a 420 stream. What you mean? First edition, uh, something else. I think it's Fossil, Omanite. First edition, Hollow Dragonite. One of my favorite pulls. It looks beautiful. First edition, Machamp. Wait, are they both like that? Where's the other Machamp at? Yo, Mr. Bot, thank you for the follow. Even if you are a bot. Shadowless Hollow Hitmonchan. How you doing, Mr. Bot? First edition. This this card is crazy. First edition, holographic, shadowless, Clefairy. And then a holographic Neo Typhlosion. It's pretty cool. This guy got big. I remember this guy being small. It's the COVID weight. What? I'm doing good, Mr. Bot. We just went through a lot of our cards. We found some pretty cool things. A lot of these cards were from uh, when I was younger. So. Maybe one stream for the people who have Pokemon cards you can have in Discord and see. True. True. I need a... Buenin, are you here? Um, I'm going to talk with Buenin after the stream. And we're going to see... What we got going on with these because i'm not going to sell probably most of them but like this clefairy if i can sell this clefairy for a grand i'm gonna do it are you kidding me like that's sick and it's in decent condition minus the back now i capture pokemon nice i feel that mr bot let me cop the clefairy do i need i need to get it graded first though smokey I, I don't know what it's worth, like what PSA it is. <clears throat> or or whatever the other one is. What do you mean? What if I what if I get it graded and it's worth more than a grand? Hmm? Cause I believe PSA ten is six and a half grand. Cheaper for me. <laughs> Alright, let me check this. Fraj is just dumb. Don't listen to Fraj. Try her, try her. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right. Let's see what this is. Can't hate in this chat. Facts. Half of them didn't send. No worries. Oh, damn, you said a lot. Holy shit, you sent a lot. Jeez. Hold up. All right, here we go. Damn, so these are all your... He sent me... Basically, it's going to be a lot of this. It's just your binder full of a ton of these. It sucks that you put it... Wait. Sucks that you put it in the stars so it was bad? What? Pokemon... Be <laughs> nah, he, he definitely has more Pokemon cards than I do. Damn. You have a shit ton of cards. A shit ton of cards. I know Squirtles are worth a lot. How come this Squirtle and my Squirtle look different? Well, they're base set. They're not first edition. Damn. And there's some first editions. A lot of first editions. Damn. So are you trying to collect the entire uh, Pokedex of first edition cards? Is that what you're trying to do?
Uh, hey, peace out, Mr. Bot. <clears throat> when I was a kid, I legit pulled them and put them in the binder. I have a binder that contains. I'm looking in the market right now for 150 grand or more, but yes, it's a plan. Those McDonald's Pokemon cards are lit. Need you like 50 cents? It's crazy. Yeah, this is. I mean, shit. There's a Dragonite. There's the flying Pikachu thing. A holographic Mew. Yeah, you got hella Pokemon. What is this one? Damn. Yeah, you got a lot of good shit, dude. <clears throat> look at the bottom. All right, bet. I'll look at more of them later. Obviously, you, you sent a lot of photos, so I'm not going to look at all of them right now. I'll look at them. Damn. Wait, so you just... Are you holding on to those, or what's up? Hey, PMA, baby. CLQ's chat taught me that. Chalon Kwa. Got to keep that PMA. Keep it BSJ. You know what I'm saying? This is full of Pokemon boxes, chat. How much is each box? You said each box is 100? Damn. PSA 10 base Charizard. And then the Rainbow Charizard GX, Rainbow Charizard, or Dragonite GX. How do you tell if these newer cards are first edition? Basically, this is what you sent me. These are really good cards. 55 a box from the store. How much did you make in return, Smokey? Like, if you were to open a box that you bought fifty for $55, what would you get? Probably only the really, really rare ones, Shifty. You pulled the Charizard on the right? Damn. I, dude, opening Pokemon cards is so fun, man. So, like, do you think with those packs, you're almost guaranteed to make money for buying them for... Damn. And you have a hollow for Alligator? It's crazy. Wait, where's my Typhlosion that I have? Where he at, though? So what does Neo mean? Oh, wait. I have a Neo Typhlosion that's hollow. I know you have a Typhlosion that's not hollow. Oh, but those are Japanese. Ah, okay. That makes sense. Those are Japanese. Giant Gamble. It's like CSGO boxes. Pikachu EX, a Charizard EX. It depends on what they look like. <clears throat> Just, you know. It all depends on what they look like. Because I know a lot of EX cards aren't going to sell for shit. Like, I have a bunch of Pokemon that are level X. Um, you know? And they're not going to sell for shit. Not, not for a while, if not ever. You know? So... But yeah, no, this was a, this again, if everything I unboxed today, I sold at max value. In theory, I could make 15 to $20,000 from these cards. Facts. If any of you find a Charizard Shadowless first edition, I will buy. How much, wait, how, didn't you say those shits were like 250 grand? <clears throat> no shot, Frosh. What you mean? I'm talking about Pokemon. You think Katie's chat would talk about Pokemon? True. I mean, Shifty has been here for a long ass time. Smokey came here because of Pokemon. And Big Pops has been followed for a while. So. 
You got to remember the names here, Faraj. Got to remember them. Mike is back. Pog. Dang, Yugi. I've been here before his first giveaway Marvel stream for like 30 bucks. True. True. Damn, it's only 4.30 and it's dark outside, dude. That's crazy. That's, I hate it. Why is it so dark outside? Pokemon giveaway? <laughs> Fuck no. Not with the cards that would actually be worth something. No shot. Let me go like this real quick. So this is the Clefairy that I have, Chet. If it were in mint condition, it could be worth 6.5k. In theory. Probably less. But in theory. What is this? Wait, what is plus? What does that mean? Hey, peace out, Smokey. If you were to recommend that I buy one box for a stream, what box should I buy? And I remember, I'm 20, so I can't buy them big-ass boxes. But if you had to recommend one, this is just PSA. But isn't this so this is sword and shield? What? I thought you wanted the old ones. Hold up. Oh yeah, this is common, uncommon. Okay, bet. So what does this shit have? Yeah, this is a star. Which means it's a hollow rare or a hollow ultra rare. Cool. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of any. If they have them 2006. I have, I have some of the champions pack. Some of the champions cards, I think. You're only 19? How the fuck do you have so much money at 19, bro? What? One evolution pack? How much do these cost? It's 10 bucks. That's not bad. 500? What the fuck? How many come in this? Thirty-six packs. So you're making a a deal. How do you know their first edition though? How do you know their first edition? That's what I want to know. That is true. Yeah, I'm I'm like broke. So Big Pops, is you're not supposed to ask people exactly how much they make. Just don't do that. You look it up. I don't I don't need to know how much money he makes. I know that he's living comfortably, and if he doesn't want to tell us, he doesn't have to. Yo, what's up, Dart? How you doing? Thank you for the follow. Uh, first edition. I can't spell. Evolution packs. Oh. That's sun and moon. Am I tweaking? 
my Pokemon addiction. <laughs> Why is money a sensitive topic? I'm just saying some people don't like talking about it. So you don't have to pry it. You know? And I, I if you ask me how much money I made, I would tell you. But some people don't like it. So don't, you know, pry. You said evolutions? First, wait, I'm going to read exactly what you said. First, okay, evolution packs. Lucario EX. What? Am I tweaking? I want to I want to open some packs on stream. But I don't I I don't want to get the bad packs. Three K a pack? Yeah, well I can't spend three K a pack. I need something more affordable. But you said Champion's Path is good. So. Sounds good, Dark. Appreciate it. Uh, Pokemon Champion's Path. 94 each? How much comes in there? All right, Smokey. Is he going to tell me anything else about this? Buy an out price for one box. I just want to know how much is in here. Ten booster packs. One full art Charizard thing. 65 card sleeves. 45 energy cards. And some other shit. Okay. You can buy Champion's Path in stores. But does it look like this? This Charizard looks dope. It only sells for 38. I'm surprised. Well, that's even a promo card. Hello? Huh. Mate, everyone, y'all are fucked collecting Pokemon cards is over for normal earning people. What you mean? I mean, I found a bunch of cards from when I was little that I can sell. For a decent amount. And then I can do what I want with that money. If I want to buy some more. Or... Oh yeah. I mean I agree. But like I, luckily I found some cards from when I was little. So. I bet Yugi. <clears throat> Is this a good pack? So it's $183 for 36 packs. Including 10 cards each. Prism Star, Celebi, Prism Star, Ditto. What the fuck is Blast Valion? Is that that dude? I don't I didn't even play this this Sun and Moon enough. I didn't play what is it? Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon? I didn't play those. That's crazy, Floyd. Damn. 
There's no other good streams, Sag. <clears throat> but like, how much do these cards sell for? I don't know how much these the cards in here would sell for. You know? Would they sell for a lot? I literally have no idea. I don't know, Yugi. I want something where I, it, like $183, I feel like I would not make a profit on this at all. I feel like I would make no sort of profit because these cards are so new that I would need to pull a GX. And even then, I wouldn't make a big profit. Like, doesn't oh oh are these the secret ones or no no these are related i lied so that doesn't tell me shit about how much it would cost yeah dude is look at that get a tyranitar gx and it sells for 17 bucks you know Yeah, but they're not worth it, you know? I, I think it would be fun to do, but I want to make money. Is that a Luxray? Oh, fuck. Okay, I might have to buy it because it's Luxray. I might have to buy it because it's Luxray. But this doesn't tell me uh, what the Pokemon are. This is not a question. These are fake cards. It's not even from the Pokemon company. Huh. Interesting. You said Japanese what? Pokemon. Okay, this is Sun and Moon. So that's why it's only 50 something dollars. What if I say Gen 1? Doesn't really do shit, does it? I mean, the prices are going up a little. Discord people won't stop talking? Oof. I bet, Geo. Some Rick Roll shit. <laughs> the series wasn't the best. I, 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 the only way I would reinvest into buying Pokemon cards is if I can make a profit. Even if it was a slim chance, if I can make a profit. And my mom texted me, hold up. What'd she say? Perfect. <sighs> hmm. Apparently, you can still buy them at stores, O Swipes. Fifty bucks. Why are they so low? Ten, so that's a hundred cards. Yeah, you get a hundred cards. They only give you, yeah, it's, I mean, that's $5 a pack. I don't know what the, what you would get out of this though, you know? Yeah, but Yugi, the thing is, is you can buy 36 packs, but if the best thing in those packs only sells for $16, it's not worth it. Especially if you're only guaranteed three, that's like 48 bucks where it costs 180 you know, no, they're like a hundred on eBay. O swipes and people will buy them because usually they're sold out in the big cities. It's got two stars. Yeah. I don't know why. 
All it does is say error can't add to cart. Oh. Get a real job scalping pieces of trash. It's it's probably because it's out of yeah, they're just mad. <laughs> they're just mad because they're trying to resell it and they can't. So that makes sense. <clears throat> it, it says they're in stock and people are trying to buy them online. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, if I were to do, if I were to buy packs, it would be something where I can make money off of it. What? Primal Clash. Was that the one you sent me, Z? Uh, Yugi? That might have been. No, it wasn't. <clears throat> Maybe. Trevenant EX. Where? Wow, Whale Lord EX. That's a. These are pretty cards. Primal. This is really nice looking cards. I wonder how much this would sell for. No worries, Dark. Appreciate you hanging out. Card checklist. They're so small. And that is... I don't know what parallel set is. Oh, you either buy red or blue? Standard set foil yeah i don't know what the fuck this shit means psa 9 is 200 that's not bad but there's also a bunch of other ex cards so it's like what about mega agron ex the hello Rare hollow, yeah. Ultra rare. Couple megas thrown in there. Not bad. I mean, it's cool. I don't think I'm going to end up buying any of these. I do. I'm going to do some research tonight. <laughs> on some of these cards. And I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to see how much I could get. For some of these. Obviously, if it's like, oh yeah, this is PSA 6, it only sells for 10 bucks, whereas a PSA 9 would sell for 200, I'm not going to do it. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to play games tonight, to be honest. I don't really want to. Uh, but in three days, COD comes out, which means we're playing zombies, like, all day. I should have bought PS5s and resell them. Yeah, you'll probably make some good money doing that. Could probably make some decent money doing that. Um, oh, that's Blen. Okay. Oh, dark. Nice. Uh, yeah. Probably not, Yugi. I'm sorry, man. I I'm just not like huge into Rocket League right now, and I don't really want to play video games in general for like the next two hours because I it's only it's only four forty five. Maybe at 8. If there's still another one at 8, maybe. But the one in 15 minutes, absolutely not. Um, I want to do some research about these cards. I do. So, yeah. Maybe at 8, but no to the one in 15 minutes. All right? For the rest of you guys, for the new people, I appreciate you stopping by. I'm going to end the stream. Uh, maybe. I'm going to talk with Buenin first, and if we need your help, we'll add you, okay? <laughs> yeah, Frush. Um, I appreciate all the new people. I'm going to be live tomorrow, the next day, the next day, the next day for the rest of the year. Um, yeah. So I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow.